My name is Lewis Howes, and this is my story from how I went from living on my sister's couch to impacting millions of lives. Lewis Howes. Lewis Howes. Lewis Howes. I was struggling. I first discovered Lewis a while ago when I stumbled across his amazing podcast, The Only One I Listen To. We met in person a few years ago in LA, and ever since then, I've been wanting to tell you his inspiring life story. I wanted to get out of my small town, and I kind of had this yearning to get out from an early age. I think it's because I didn't feel like seen, I didn't feel understood, I felt like I didn't fit in, I felt like no one got me, I didn't have any friends. So I was like, get me out of this place if I don't feel good. Sure. Lewis was such a good athlete, and he loved sports so much that you won't believe how many he played at once. But I was doing three sports one year, football, yeah, basketball, good, and track. <laughs> And it was just too much of my body at that level. So I went all in on football and um, I didn't have a lot of offers after uh, uh, college was done. I went to a couple NFL tryouts and combines and um, didn't make it to the NFL. Ended up playing arena football, getting injured my, my rookie season. I had a cast on for six months and then I was sleeping on my sister's couch for about a year, year and a half. How old were you at that time? 23, okay. 24. When you were on your sister's couch? Yeah, when most kids already had jobs for a few years. I was still chasing the dream of like, well, maybe I can make the NFL. Back when the recession hit in 2008, 2.6 million people lost their jobs and Lewis was unfortunately one of them. Yeah. In 2008, yeah. It was like chaos, like what's, what's happening with the world? The housing market is crashing. Mm -hmm. I'm a 23, 24 year old with no degree, injured yeah. in a cast on my sister's couch in Columbus, Ohio, trying to figure out what am I gonna do with my next chapter? I've got no money, I've got no skills. I put my whole eggs into sports and no backup plan. His life started to change when one of his mentors gave him this piece of advice. Build your network. You've gotta start reaching out to people and one of them said, check out LinkedIn. And that's all I needed. I was like, okay, I'm all in on LinkedIn. I used the platform back in 2007 and I went on there all day, obsessing. And after becoming an expert on LinkedIn, Lewis created courses, wrote books, spoke at events, and even had workshops. And then I just kind of got burnt out. I was talking about LinkedIn for four years almost every day. And I was just like, it's not really my purpose. Like it served a purpose, right, right. but it's not the next season of my life purpose. Sure. And I was excited about it in the moment, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna be excited about it in the future. So I wanted to reinvent myself and like my mission. And I sold that to a partner that I was working with on it for a, a while. And after a few months, I was like, I really think this podcasting thing might take off. This was before anyone was talking about podcasting. Lewis has gotten so big that he's interviewed celebrities and major public figures on his podcast. I, I had a lot of great connection through my network already, like athlete connections right. and author connections already. So I just started with the network that I had. One day at a time, one episode at a time, one guest at a time, one relationship, and I just kept moving forward. And what are the numbers now? We have over 250 million downloads, yeah, in seven and a half years. And That's awesome. Four or five million followers on all platforms. And Lewis, where do you see yourself in five years from now? My whole mission is to impact 100 million people a week. That's the goal. I just want to be able to impact people and, and have amazing conversations. Lewis is the definition of inspiring. He went from being broke and sleeping on his sister's couch to now running a multi-million dollar empire and one of the world's biggest podcasts. I really look forward to watching him continue to grow and inspire millions more around the world. Lewis, what is one message that you want to say to the world? My message to you is that you matter, you are loved, and you are worth it. A lot of us forget to chase our dreams because we don't believe we matter. And your dreams are some of the most important things that you'll ever have. It gives you something to think about, to chase after, to pursue. And one of the, the, the scariest things and one of the saddest things is when we don't have a dream. So my senior year, I said, I'm back to like having no friends. I'm gonna meet every kid that I can in right. the school of like 300 kids. And I started to hang out after class with kids in the arts. I went to, I, I took a tap dancing class with kids. I did synchronized swimming and hung out with like synchronized swimmers. Amazing. I did theater for the first time ever and hung out with like the, the theater kids. Like I was just trying to meet different people. You went from introvert to extrovert. 
Yeah, I went all in on just meeting, exploring people, doing what you do. It's like sure. you go around the world, you just ask people questions. Sounds addicting, man. And I think that I realized like there's so many things we all have in common that that's why I love interviewing people now. 100%. Yeah. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and ring that little bell so you can get notified on all my upcoming videos as I take you to every single country in the world.